I was sick for almost three months, and it was terrifying. Um, and that's definitely, definitely still affected me. As we've seen, COVID can spread quickly among college students. New at 11, one local student has a word of warning after COVID-19 left her sick in bed for nearly three months. CBS 17's Maggie Newland is live with her story tonight. Maggie. Angela, there is a perception that COVID is mild among young people, and fortunately, many college students who come down with the virus do have less severe illness, but not everyone. Lacey Mathis was diagnosed with COVID in March, and she is still suffering some effects. A college cheerleader, Lacey Mathis, is used to staying active, but for nearly three months, she could hardly get out of bed. I was basically in bed, on my back, uh, at least 20 hours of the day. I couldn't really get up and move. I was sleeping a lot, high fevers for the almost the entire three months. The William and Mary student lives in Sanford and says she was diagnosed with Lee County's first case of COVID-19 in March. She believes she caught the virus while cheering at a basketball tournament. She's gotten past the worst of the illness now, but after months in bed, she's still working to regain her strength and suffers lingering effects of the virus. I still to this day can't smell or taste. Then there are the emotions. Along with all the pain and everything, there were just a lot of nightmares and, um, you know, replaying all these awful things over and over in your head. It was terrifying. Um, and that's definitely, definitely still affected me. She hopes other college students realize how sick COVID can make them. To go online and see all these pictures of people being so casual and nonchalant about it in the middle of a global pandemic, I, it's, it's a bit confusing. If it happened to her, it can happen to anyone. I hope everybody gets it mildly if you have to have it at all, but it's not at all a guarantee. There's still so much we don't know. And just be safe because even if it doesn't happen to you, it could happen to somebody that you care about. And Lacey hopes that young people will practice social distancing, wear masks, and most importantly, she says, avoid those parties, even if they are tempting. Reporting live, Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News. Maggie, thank you.